It's our outfit pie show. It's our outfit pie show. Everyone believe I'm live junk day. Hi there, I'm Liam. Welcome to the Off Air Podcast. I'm famous for not liking dunk tanks or anything to do with them. Uh, ben is also here. Present. Bell is here. Hello. Producer Andy is here. Present. Uh, quick we will... order of business. Sorry, cut you off there, Liam. Very quick. Uh, Andy, we used to have the little brr on the end. Is that gone? Mm. Was that not there? No. Dung. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. That's a strike. Normally, we have a little bit of audio that yeah. goes... Would we do a splash? Like a Could do. Dunk, dunk. Leave with me. I have never forgotten before. So yeah, you no, you, you normally don't. Yeah. Don't that's why, that's, why, that's why the standard is so high. Clearly an oversight. <laughs> <laughs> um, look, we'll get to team member of the week at the uh, end of this episode. I feel like I've lost it already. <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe. I mean, if there was any votes looking your way, um, people would certainly be second guessing. Uh, first of all, though, um, I mean, there might be multiple strikes here dished out. I believe the microphones were left on air uh, this morning. So uh, Ben was out of the room. Bell, myself and Andy were all chatting. Um, I mean, first of all, it's it's probably a strike on the captain's um, plate for, for leaving. Then it's Ben's job to turn the mics on and off. It's probably also a strike on our behalves because we should really know if there's a live mic. You know, it's on us as well. well there, just yeah, be... there, there is a red light that comes on the mic, but I swear that wasn't on. I don't know. And then also, the, it's, all, the, it's also on everyone else reason... outside the glass. Yep. I don't think anyone came in and said... You're, you're on air. You know, so the only, I think the only, every, this was during an ad break as well this morning. The only ads. person that caught the mics being on was Ash in the newsroom. She's the only Ash person. Gardner. So yeah. shout out to Ash. Um, just in, can I argue the strike? Yeah, yeah, you can. My argument would be if I get a strike, we all get a strike because these new studios, they have giant red lights mm. on them. So yeah. everyone should know their mics are on. I didn't think they were. I don't think it's every, 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 feel like it was. Granted, every mic's a live mic. Yep. Yeah. I, I am the first person to say to you guys, please... Remember, and we say mics some can always be on. stuff in the songs. So has my strike been retracted, or is everyone going to no. get a strike? Do we? Yeah. Do, as a group, do we all take? A, I think we all need to take a strike, and that's 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 right through Ben, right through everyone, everyone on the team this morning, including myself, gets a strike except for Ash Gardner. If we had a hundred. Like, if we were to divvy up the percentage of who wears this problem, <laughs> yeah, I would put Ben at about maybe 5 to 10%. Yep. I think that we were doing something unique. Like, we were in a record mode. Yeah. We were yep. trying to play a bass. We are trying to get the bass so set up. usually Ben, like ben didn't leave the mics on because he yeah. forgot to turn okay. them off. Yep. He left the mics on because we were doing something we were different. To be in and record mode. the mics weren't meant to be on, but yep. they were on. Uh, I would give... The rest of ours, probably the same. Maybe a little bit less than Ben, but probably about 5% each. Mm -hmm. uh, because we sh probably should check that the mic's on, but also it's not on yeah. us to check that. Yep. I would give the people outside maybe 80%. Whoa. Well, did you hear that? <laughs> did you hear that? Andy Zito out there. <laughs> All right. Well, look. I think we've all we've all copped a fair share of that. Oh, strike. Every, everyone's had. <laughs> no, 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 but you no, know what? I'm sure. I'm this, sure though. it didn't even really come through that much because that's the thing. Normally, the ads are so overpowering, you can't really hear the the chat happening behind the scenes if the if there's a mic left on. And the chat wasn't that heinous, thank God. It was us planning, just like talking through the rest of the show and being like, well, maybe we should change this or maybe we should sub this in. So there's a lot of you could you could hear Andy and I. You can hear going, talking, but you can't yeah, hear what there's being said. Yeah, you can hear us just being said. like, rah, 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 because mm. I'm like, oh, maybe we should do this. Rah, rah, rah. But then, what does come through really clearly <laughs> is Liam singing Red got, Hot Chili Peppers. Well, I, I, am, I am in my chili peppers phase at the moment after seeing them in Melbourne a couple of weeks so ago. So, imagine you're in your car driving this morning or whatever, and you're hearing the ads, and you're hearing there's a little bit of talking underneath. Oh, what's that? But then this comes through. At Victoria University, you can kickstart your career in May. You'll study just one subject at a time, making it easier to balance work and life, gain the skills you need to succeed, plus get access to hundreds of industry connections. <laughs> I'm, no. ding, 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 ding. I'm doing around the world. It comes through so clearly. At Victoria University, you can kickstart your career in May. You'll study just one subject at a time, making it easier to balance work and life, gain the skills you need to succeed. It is so funny. I didn't even realise that after like um, Sarah and a few people were listening and they're like, are you singing Chili Peppers in this one? I'm like, yeah, that was 
it was not on purpose. <laughs> also, it's funny that you so say, like, obviously, you know, as we say, oh, you know, inner workings of the show, you know, you got Belle and Andy there trying to work out, you know, what we're doing next and what we should move around and how to keep the show, you know, on the pulse and, you know, try and do the best breakfast show we can. And I'm in the corner going, ring, ding, dong, ding, 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 ding. So, as you said, heinous stuff during the break. Well, you, you're lucky that, you know, that was just some chili peppers. Well, I mean. speaking of um, heinous things, I think it's time we move on to the second order of business. Oh, well, yes. Uh, Jonathan Scott Askews, uh, can we please have you report to the studio, please? Audio extraordinaire, mm-hmm. team man, uh, the guy. He's walking into the, the studio fella. now. The f- hails from the Riverland, Renmark, South Australia. I'm worried. Hey. DJ's at the Hawthorne Hotel. Do you know what you've done, Scott? <laughs> no idea. No. Nah. Okay. Yesterday, a request was put in for you to um, bleep something out in the off-air Podcast and it's oh, an expletive. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Um, exhibit A. <laughs> yeah, well, just before I hit play on this, I probably need to context that what we were talking about in itself was pretty wild. Yeah. yeah. And passions were running high. People were saying things. Bell said something that we thought we had to beep. Um, so this is exhibit A. Bell's gorilla knot, we're calling it. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! When does it become bullying? Whoa. Because seriously, you like, mentioned your hairy ass to us. We didn't ask about it. I also it. love the amount it. of times during the day that you say I've got giant Navi. <laughs> How do you feel about that beep, Scotter? Pretty on point. <laughs> yeah, really, you reckon? Because I reckon it was it was kind of the opposite of on point. Because I'm hearing a C and a K. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> you pretty much bleeped the O in that word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you want people to know what the word is. <laughs> well, no, do you? That is the opposite of a beep. I think that is the opposite of what the beep is on purpose. And like, and 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 before we, you know, we put all all eyes on you, Scatter. I mean, I I feel like. Saying the phrase "gorilla knot" was probably, exactly. was probably also, uh, you know, probably should have been bleeped. Um, That's not a swear word. But it's not also- a swear word, but it's a very visceral description <laughs> of a dude. Uh, after after that, though, I think I said once or, or twice. I said, "Oh, you're talking about your big," <laughs> and then that also wasn't beeped oh, at all. So. Bell. What? But like, so it really like the now beep- Scott is going to have to go back and beat that. Do we need to beat? As well, nah, oh, you're gonna have to beat yourself Whoa. now, Scott. You're, just, you're only putting more work on your plate, sir. Where do we stop? Where's the line? Yeah, well, we don't actually know where the line is. I guess oh, I sure. just thought swear words had to be beeped. That's what yeah. I thought. Yeah, the Let's... C the C words, you know, not not great. Um, but anyway, Scott, I mean, everything else has been top notch. Yeah, that's great. That's it. Yeah. Right. That that was it. Yeah. I'll, I'll go and beep all the <laughs> out of this one. <laughs> yeah. Are we keeping Scott around for a vote? Yeah, why not? Yeah, yeah I mean, why not? Why Scott to get a vote? Hang on, then, do I get a vote? Yeah, yeah. yeah. everybody in? Yeah. yeah, hey, Brody, Andy, whoever's out, you can come in for a vote if you well, want. Well, actually, just start thinking about your votes now because there's only so many mics and we'll bring you in. Oh, we'll go one by one. Yeah. Cool. Let's do Team Member of the Week. It's a Team Member of the Week. It'll probably be. I'm assuming Andy is rapidly adding more names to the wheel. So, okay. do you want to add anyone other than Brody and Scudder? Is Andy voting? Uh, Andy, would you like to vote team member of the week? Uh, yep. Yeah, he's yep, saying yep. 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 Okay. Yep. That's yep. Everyone there. Let me just add Zito to this. So what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Everyone. Seven. Let's keep our, vi- uh, yeah. our, our voting Vote's tight. tight. Yeah. Yep. So have, have something in mind. Spit it out. Move on. Uh, okay. Let's hit the wheel. Let's see who's voting first. Well, the wheel looks great with all the names. Where's on Where's the, the sound way. effects going, Andy? Yeah, I'll get oh, them. Yeah. Uh, Bell, you're up. Okay. Great. Uh, I think definitely this week I would like to give my vote. <laughs> my vote. I like my clap. I don't like your clap, but I like the noise yeah. the wheel makes when yeah, it spins. Like that's okay. cool. Yeah, What happened to keeping this tight, guys? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm voting for Brody because he has organised the instruments for Sunday. Yeah, Brody. And he... he's dealt with the festival people this whole time. Yeah, we did. We did, you know, normally behind the scenes, sometimes you're like, oh, you speak to Ashburton. Got talent to let them know we're coming. We just sort of said we were doing it, and yeah. then we had to find a trombone and, and a drum kit very last minute. Like you might think, oh, this is a bit that the festivals come to us and been like, hey, no, you go. no, no. Like Bro- Port Brody had to call them and be like, hey, so how do you feel about mm. like us it's doing? It's very it? much the opposite of that. Uh, next up, we have Brody. 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 Brody, come on in, Brody. You were just given a nod yourself. Uh, who would you like to give your team member of the week to? I would like to vote for the best trombonist I've ever heard. Whoa, Noah. 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 Yeah. Mm, fair enough. Outside the circle. Yeah, yeah. Enough. very well done. Good Very nomination. well done. Yeah, that's good stuff. It's Andy. Hey. Who's your vote for? I uh, few, had a few options. I was going to vote for producer Tom. 
Mm-hmm. But taking annual leave yeah. when the show's on <laughs> is a big no no for yep. me. So he will not be getting my vote. <laughs> I was also going to vote for Brody. He he did an exceptional job with this Ashburton's Got Talent this week. It is his job, though. Oh, here so- we go. <laughs> oh, here we go. What isn't someone's job is volunteering to go to Sydney to solve. <laughs> wow. You didn't okay. do it. But I. Offered to go, so I'll be voting for myself. <laughs> That's me we did have some studio issues, uh, and we had to do the show like weirdly half out of Sydney, and I don't know, it was a whole thing. We, but Andy, we, may, we potentially were going to. Yeah, it was like it. a small yeah. half an hour. There was a small half an hour period where it was looking like someone nah. had to go to Sydney, and Andy volunteered. So That's I, cool. so I was working for hour for over an hour, and that night, seven o'clock, doesn't bother you looking at flights. I didn't have to go, but I would maybe have had to <laughs> go. Someone argue, Andy, as EP. That's your job. Well, I wouldn't argue that, and that's why I voted for myself. Up next, it's Andy Zito. Andy Zito. Zito, Zito, Zito. Zito. Hey, guys. Hey, hey. how are you doing, sir? Real good, thanks. Who would you like to vote for? Uh, I would like to vote for Belle. What? Yes. <laughs> She locked in that rhythm. She kept it tight. Yeah. Oh, okay. She didn't drop the beat. Whatever the hell else was going on, she was just focused and yep. four to the floor. I appreciate yep. that. I must admit, I was quite impressed with Bell's drum beat oh, in our thanks. rehearsal Solid. this morning. Um, yeah, especially for someone who hasn't picked up the sticks. Well, we weren't even sticks. We didn't even say that. But no, we were playing wooden with wooden spoons. spoons. We didn't have sticks. We got the drum kit, but we've got the sticks. Yeah. Good four four Thank voted. Uh, a vote for me, Brody, Noah. Noah, and Bell. <laughs> oh, Custard didn't get one. He didn't get a vote this week. <laughs> Uh, next up, it's the Meister. Yeah, Scud. Scud. The Scud Missile. Uh, special mention to Andy for volunteering to go to Sydney. <laughs> Thank you, Jay. I appreciate that. <laughs> special mention to Belle for being the backbone of the band today. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yes. But mine's going to have to also go to Noah. Okay, well, there you go. Noah. He's the man to beat at the moment. The young child, 12 years old, who's performing in our band at Ashburton's Got Talent this Sunday. Ben and Liam remain. The OGs. The OGs, baby. <laughs> The big Navi the t- senior <laughs> members. <laughs> Andy. Uh, ooh, it's Ben. Uh, yeah, look, I I think everyone's done a really good job this week. Mm-hmm. I think uh, I've really appreciated Brody's effort on dealing with the Ash Burton lady, and he <laughs> did go. Her out. I said the Ash Burton oh, people. <laughs> that's fine. Uh, I think my nom goes to Brody. Brody, oh, for right. getting the drum kit and getting it all set up and uh, which leaves I well, we'll let the wheel find out first. Liam, let's just see. You never know. Oh, it doesn't spin when there's only one. Yeah, it's, oh, yeah okay. it's landed on me. Uh, mine goes to Nick this week. Nick and the wider team who went out shopping and bought us all Harry Styles costumes. Yeah, I right. thought they were very good costumes. Oh, that, that's a good nod. Mm. No, I just like it's like we were like, hey, we want some Harry Styles costumes, and then he, I, I would say they were like. Harry grade costumes, like especially the jacket that he bought me. It's like yeah, three hundred dollars. Like, so yeah, wait, are we going to have a paper scissors off with Brody uh, and Noah? Well, I think Noah forfeits his. Well, it comes like down the, to the wheel. So, so Brody has to rock paper scissors off against the wheel. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, Brody, yeah, jump yeah, on the mic, yeah. mate. Okay, this is good. All right, here we go. So it's either going to be team member of the week because obviously uh, Noah, Noah isn't here, who's twelve years old, who well, comes through, or Brody, producer Brody. So Brody, you go ahead and shoot, and then the wheel shoots back. Okay, slash Noah. Rock, paper, scissors. So he's oh, okay. shot scissors. Brody's gone scissors and the wheel has gone. Paper. 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 Brody wins. Oh, Brody, you're the team huge. member of the week. You beat a child. Congratulations, mate. Is there any words that you have? My big Navi <laughs> <laughs> oh. Are we going to beep all yes. that? Yes. Scudder, <laughs> you've never had a bigger job. There is so many. The beat in that one. <laughs>